Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to discuss how we can apply or use date diff function using calculated field in Looker or Google Data Studio. So as you can see here in my table I have date since sold or age. But if I'll show you my raw data then you can see over here that we do not have any column which basically says date since sold or age. So what we have done over here is that we have calculated this field based on these two columns order date and current date while in this graph we have given order date versus ship date age where we have taken this ship date minus order date so whenever you need to calculate difference between two certain days then you can use this date difference function so in this video we will create this table as well as this graph where we are going to apply or use the date diff function as a calculated field which will help you to understand or it will help you to get an idea that when, where and how we can apply the date diff function with the help of calculated field. And before we use this function, let's understand this date diff function. So this date diff is a date time function in Looker and it calculates the number of days between two specific dates. But you have to make sure that those two dates should be in a compatible date format. And you can see over here the syntax is that date diff, this is the function name. Then we have two parameter x and y. So x is a date field or date expression. Similarly y is also a date field or date expression. So while using this date diff function, you have to note that date diff calculate this x minus y. So if x is greater than y, then your result will be positive. Otherwise, the result will be negative. So if you basically put this ship date, sorry, this order date as x value over here and this ship date as a y value then you will get your result in negative because order date is less than this ship date so we will have to keep ship date as x and order date as y to get the difference in positive numbers so now let's go and create a calculated field with the help of this date diff function so the first of all what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on this edit button and I'm going to add a new page and from my first page I'm just gonna copy these headers and put it over here now in order to use this function the first thing that you need is your data source so if you have already imported your data in your looker report then you can go ahead and create a table and if you have not imported your data then what you can do is that you can click on add data and then looker will allow you to use any of the google connectors from where you can import your data once you have imported your data then you can come over here on add a chart and select any of your chart type for example i'm just gonna select a simple pivot table and i'm going to put it over here And by default, you can see that Looker has taken category in the row dimension, column dimension as order date, and metric as record count. So instead of this record count, we need this quantity sold over here as a metric. And in our first page, if you see, we have category as a column. So we need to remove this date from our table from column dimension and take this category and put it over here now what we need is that we need the date difference from which the order was placed okay to do that we have to create the calculated field so there are two ways of creating a calculated field what you can do is that you can create a calculated field for this specific table but then you won't be able to use that calculated field in your graph or any other visualization visit so it's always better to create a calculated field in your data so that you can use that calculated field in any other visualization visit so the first thing that i'm going to do is that i'm going to click on add a field 
then I can click on add calculated field. The first thing that looker will ask me is the field name. So I'm just going to give uh, age from order date. This will be the name of my field. Then I have to give the formula. So for us, the formula will be date underscore diff, which is this date diff. Within this bracket, we have to give two argument x and y. So what we want to calculate is that we want to calculate the number of days since this item or this category item has been sold. Okay. So let's take an example saying that if we want to calculate the age difference, then we have to calculate from today's date, how many days it has been since this category three was ordered. So today is 30 December, order date was 24 December. So ideally we should get six, right? So for us, the X will be today's date and we can use current date function as our X parameter. And for Y parameter, we can simply take this order date and put it over here. Now, if I scroll down, you will see that we have this green tick mark which says formula syntax is valid. Now, if I click on save, you will see that calculated field save and then we can click on finish. The moment I click on finish, you will see that you have a new field which says age from order date. So what we can do basically is that we can take this age from order date and we can put it over here as our row dimension. Now you can see that we have this new field age from order date. So we have six days gone by and we have sold 10,628 item for category 5. Similarly for category 2 we have 9,186 items. So this way you can basically calculate the date difference between two dates. So let's take an example saying that if we have to take this order date also over here as our row dimension. Okay, so we have 24 December. Now if I create a, another calculated field for this table only. So I'm going to click on this add dimension, add field, and I'm just going to say today's date. And I'm just going to put current date and I'll click on apply. Now we have today's date. So let's take this today's date and put it over here. So now if I see this table, let me increase the size of text. Okay, and click on view. Now, if I'll show you these dates, okay, uh, let me resize this column. Okay, now you can see that we have order date 24 December. We have today's date 30 December. Now, if I want to take the difference of these two dates, I can see that the age from order date is 6, which is correct. Let's take another example. 26 December is the order date. We have today's date 30 December. The difference is 4 days. And within these 4 days, we have these many items that were sold. Right? So over here, in our age from order date, what we did was that we used another function within Data Studio, which is current date. And we have minus the current date with the order date to get the age between these two dates or the difference between these two date right now what if suppose you have to calculate the date difference between these two dates ship date and order date so this is a metric which is used in e-commerce where they basically shows a kpi that how many days it took for them to ship the item okay so in that case we can use this date difference and shows the concentration of item that has been shipped within days so to do that i'm just gonna add a new calculated field over here and let's name it as ship date versus order date difference and i'm going to give the formula date difference then the first thing you will see over here that ship date is greater than this order date Okay, so I'm just going to give the value ship date as my X parameter and then I have to give a comma and the Y parameter will be the order date. 
now if I scroll down you will see that we have formula syntax is valid we can click on save this calculated field is saved then we can click on finish now we have this new field ship date versus order date okay now if I want to use this ship date versus order date difference over here in my row dimension in this table we can basically take this and drag it over here similarly we can use this ship date versus order date difference in a another visualization wizard so let's create a graph similar to this okay so i'll click on add a chart i'll take this graph bar chart so let me increase the size of this bar graph and in this graph instead of this dimension as category i'm just going to take ship date versus order date as my dimension and you will see that we have days over here and based on this date where it's showing how much day does it took an order to get shipped so if we can go to style and let's change the color to black give the data levels then we'll have the exact value which shows or the graph which shows on which date or how many days does it took this 69,570 item to get shipped it took one day similarly we have days difference over here and based on these days difference we have the number of quantity which was basically sold and how much time does it took from getting an order to ship the items so this is how basically you can use date diff function to calculate days between two different days with the help of a calculated field in looker or google data studio happy learning and see you in the next video